Before you begin paint application, check again that you have sufficient quantities of the correct products to complete the planned job. Carefully note which paint materials are required for the job in hand. If the incorrect paint is used or the sequence of primer and finish are not applied in the recommended way, detachment, wrinkling, cracking or splitting of the applied film may result, which in due course may lead to detachment, further corrosion and more repair work. Before opening the cans, carefully read and follow the labels detailing health and safety information. Then clean the lids to prevent any dust or debris falling into the paint when the cans are opened. If the paint has been stored for a period of time, the lighter components will tend to float to the top, while the heavier components will stay at the bottom of the can. Because of this settlement, it's important to stir the paint thoroughly before use to ensure all components are fully mixed. The paint must be stirred using a power agitator. To avoid waste when using two pack products, only mix the quantity of paint required for the immediate job in hand. Stir the base component first. Add the correct quantity of curing agent to the base, taking care to drain all of the material into the base can. Thoroughly mix base and curing agent or converter together until a uniform solution is achieved. Now choose the application tools for the job to be undertaken. The paintbrush is best suited for small areas or places which cannot easily be reached or covered by spray application. Make sure the correct thickness of paint has been achieved. Remember the purpose of the coating is to add a layer of protection over the steel of the ship both inside and out. Generally films of 40 to 60 microns will be achieved by brush or roller application. So several coats may be required to achieve the correct film thickness. If the paint is applied too thinly, corrosion will occur after a short period of time. If the paint is applied too thickly due to over application, Slow drying and film defects such as runs or sags will be the likely result. This will also promote the inefficient use of ship paint stores through overconsumption. On completion of the job, always thoroughly clean application equipment so that it's ready for immediate use next time you need it. Log the quantities of paint used and note the stock levels of remaining paint stores. By maintaining a well-organised and tidy paint locker, this job is easily done. A simple coating logbook in the paint locker detailing date of application, vessel area coated and the paint used will help avoid repeated painting of the same area when crew changes occur.